Six years ago, Iman Godzi dropped out of high school to pursue entrepreneurship, and like most of us, he struggled to get his feet off the ground in the beginning. But over the past few years, he's quickly passed all of his competition, amassing a net worth of over 80 million dollars. So what took him from a high school dropout to mega millionaire in just a few years? Well, he has a superpower in marketing that allows him to generate customers basically at the snap of a finger. And today we're going to look inside of his sales funnels, the top of the funnel, the middle of the funnel, the bottom of the funnel, the three sales funnels that are allowing him to generate millions of dollars every single month and the secrets he's using to do so. So if you ever wanna know what ads somebody's running, you can actually go to Google Ads Transparency Center. If they're running ads on Google or YouTube, you're going to find them here. So you can search by their website name. So in this case, we would search educate.io, that's his website name, search that, and then we can see the dozens and dozens and dozens of ads that he's running. And if we look at any one of these ads, you can see they go to this page called the rescue and I can click sign up and go to what looks like a free event right and all of these ads pretty much go to this exact same place and the reason is because this is the top of his funnel this is where he's bringing people in originally and that's why he's advertising to it before they're actually customers so this page is where the ads are pushing it's called the rescue it says the rescue starts now it's from October 30th to November 6th so it's a free event it says long before the modern day education system the ancient greeks found five principles to achieve true freedom but today less than one percent of the population actually knows about these and according to this over these few days they're going to rescue these five lost principles and show them to the world which is pretty interesting and what this is doing is creating an open loop in the people that come to this page because they want two things to happen they want people to sign up for the event so they can get the lead and they want people to show up and if they just intrigue you enough just to sign up, but there's no, you know, curiosity that drives you to show up, then their leads are basically worthless, right? So they're creating this open loop where you're like, what are these five lost principles? I got to go to the event to actually find this out. Uh, from a design perspective, this looks really, really cool. I'm curious if they've tried more, you know, like better headlines rather than the rescue starts now. Uh, I'm assuming they have split tested that. And then you can click to reserve your spot. They'll take you to like a confirmation page after you enter your name, email, and phone number. And then it says what you're about to discover, the three different days. And these are basically headlines uh, for each specific day, right? The secret origins of education. Like, what is that? How to achieve success even in a rigged game. I'm sure that's probably where he's going to pitch something if he is pitching something. And then it all starts October 30th, 100% online and free to join. He's answering that question of, hey, it's 100% online and it's free to join because people are going to wonder, is this in person? Does it cost money? Right. You have to answer the questions that are going on in your traffic's mind if you want to increase your conversion rate. So this is the top of the funnel. And I would assume if he does what he's done in the past, which is sell his programs in the past at the end of these events, I'd assume he's going to push people to educate. And this process this event funnel has worked very very well for them i was chatting with their ceo like last year and he told me that they made over four million dollars from one of these events and i wouldn't be surprised if that number is now higher because his channel his youtube channel has grown substantially since then so this is a top of the funnel they're getting people to this event they're not making any money but they're generating lead flow and they're indoctrinating i guess for lack of a better word their leads their audience to believe what they're going to offer them, right? And the next thing they're gonna offer them is Educate. Educate is their basically master class where they have their own online programs and coaching. So the headline here is launch your high income career and join the new generation of young millionaires. Now, when you're writing headlines, there's a really useful tool, it's called the four U's. And you want your headline to have at least two of these four U's if it's going to be successful. It's useful, unique, ultra specific or urgent. So if we take those four U's and we apply it here, we can see this is somewhat useful, right? Cause it's saying launch your high income career. Uh, you can say it's pretty ultra specific cause it's young people, young millionaires. Uh, and then it's kind of uh, this unique, right? It's kind of unique because it's new generation. So you're wondering like, well, what is new about this? Um, but overall this headline is probably like a six out of 10, at least from like copywriting principles, but who knows how it's actually working. So are you ready to embrace the unconventional path or are you just going to settle for conventional results? And then they have a little video where it shows what it is. I want to save my spot, right? Interesting call to action there. 
rather than just join now, it's I want to save my spot, kind of suggesting that they're going to run out. So down here are some trust badges. Two of these are value props and two of these are kind of removing some of the fear of purchasing. So immediate access, value prop, but also answering an important question. When will I access this if I pay now? Second, always up to date, it's a value prop that they're gonna continue to get more from their purchase. 14 day guarantee, removing the risk, secure purchase, removing the fear that their credit card is gonna get stolen by putting it into this website. Then it breaks down what's inside of the program. It's hottest opportunities, coached by industry experts, growing portfolio of programs. I'm sure you can see what they're doing there. The programs you get, then they break down these three different programs with these cool trailers inside of them that again are just hyping up uh, the different programs that they're going to get. So again, not too much to say here. They're just breaking down what these people are getting. The hottest opportunities, right? They're selling that this is something new, it's unique, right? Again, the four U's are hitting on that unique aspect. When you join Educate Today, you get full and immediate access to, and then again, they're gonna break it down one more time and they're pre-framing when you join today, right? And then they do something pretty smart here. And what they do is they bill annually, but they break it down per month, at least when they pitch it here. $125 per month build annually. It's much easier to swallow than $1,500. And then they have these four badges here, Klarna, PayPal, Stripe, Afterpay from these businesses other people trust, right? So you're kind of borrowing some trust from these other businesses. So you click here and then it takes you over here to Stripe. And one thing I'm noticing right off the bat that they could probably be doing better is it says IAG Services FZ Co. If you're somebody who is very new to Iman Gadzi or to Educate and you go to educate.io and then you land here, you're gonna be thinking, what's IAG Services? Why am I paying them? I thought I was paying Educate. It's probably a small thing, but I'm sure some people are thinking that. We just found this in another client's business that we we're doing conversion rate optimization for. And these small little tweaks bump up the conversion rate by removing some of the different questions and objections uh, and inconsistencies that people see when they go through your funnel. And another one of those is it says 125 build annually, but then right here, it's just 1495. So if somebody missed the build annually part, they're gonna get here and they're gonna bounce, right? And they're gonna say, well, why is it now 1495? I thought it was 125 a month. So if they reiterated that here, 125 build annually on the checkout page, and then they had the full 1495, people can at least understand what's going on here. And they're using a Stripe checkout page here, which is nice because it's super easy. You know it's going to work, but I'd be curious if they split tested this checkout page because a lot of times we've split tested checkout pages and seen 30, 40% boost in conversion from one checkout to another. And the last time I tried a Stripe checkout for a client, it did not perform very well at all. In fact, the other checkout page performed way, 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 way better uh, than the Stripe checkout page. That's something that they could test. So that's it for Educate, but if we head over to the third funnel, which is the bottom of the funnel, and really where he's been able to amass the most amount of his net worth is a company called Flozy, formerly known as Agency Flow. Now, the reason I say this is where he's been able to amass the massive amount of net worth that he has is because this is a SaaS product. And if you know anything about SaaS, you know the multiples that they're able to be valued at is so much higher than a company like Educate. And the perfect example of this is a company I sold a couple of years ago. It was a similar company to Educate, an education type company. And we got a 2.6X multiple on our revenue. So every dollar we made in revenue, it was worth 2.6 times that, okay? But if you compare that with a company like Flozy, a SaaS company, it's not uncommon to see 10X, 20X, sometimes even 40X multiples, especially two years ago before interest rates were crazy and the economy was a little bit in shambles. So a company like this, let's say is doing $10 million in revenue a couple years ago, it's not uncommon, even if they're making no money in profit every year, losing money to be worth $200 million. Teachable was an example of that. They sold for $200 million on either 10 or 20 million in revenue with no profit. So now diving into this funnel, a soup wrap, and then it says for coaches, consultants, all these different audiences, calling out all these different people. And this is something they did recently. This used to just be for agency owners, but they widen their market, right? I think they're getting ready, again, for this to be able to be sold. They wanted to have a wider TAM. 
and then the call to action try for free it's a great call to action it's inconsistent with up here the get started call to action which is interesting and then immediately you can kind of see here how this is different it replaces these apps and you're saying okay all right i use those apps how does it replace it and then we go in and it starts explaining what this does attract more clients serve them better and keep them longer and the reason this is great copy is it's not feature based it's benefit based when you use this you get to attract more clients serve them better and keep them longer and then they go into some features of what you actually get which is still important right people need to know what the software actually does and then they have this little ai piece that's apparently coming soon which again it's hot right now it's going to sell the product people are excited about ways to use ai inside of their businesses and then it's we get you built by agency owners for agency owners again trying to show it's not some just big corporate company but they understand the problem that agency owners actually uh, experience but again if you notice this this is now another inconsistency because it's agency owners for agency owners but up here it's for coaches and consultants and digital entrepreneurs or whatever it says so if i'm one of those people now i'm like well, why is this for agency owners i thought it was for me and then this next section here shows three other reasons why you should sign up get more clients again you're you're selling the benefit not the feature keep your clients always up to date all in one place consolidate your tech stack and then next up pricing level up your business start for free and again the same main benefit headline there and then 29 dollars per month this plan includes one user and and then it breaks down everything you get i'm not sure why they only have one pricing plan now they used to have three i can't imagine this actually working better maybe it does i don't know but if you look at pretty much any SaaS business any big SaaS business they have three tiers and there's a reason for that it anchors the middle option increases average order value and then still a certain amount of people are going to choose that most expensive tier uh, allowing you to make more money i mean they do have it to where you have to pay more for more clients and team members um but you know i think if they had three from the beginning their average order value would be bigger and then here we have a little calculator where you can actually figure out how much it's going to cost but what's interesting here is if I go one and one, one team member, one client, right? Um, which here, you know, I'm assuming that's what this is, the $29 per month. Uh, it says one user. So if I do that, maybe if I go one user, no clients, nope, still, this is inconsistent once again. We've been seeing that all day today. It's $41 per month at the cheapest for one team members when it's $29 a month here. So again, inconsistencies are going to confuse people. And then lastly, another call to action, join 18,000 businesses using Flozy. This part is great, right? At the end of your pages, people get down to the end. You want to give them that one last call to action. We do this on all of our funnels. And it says try for free. Again, an easier call to action, a lower risk than sign up now. Two things here that I would probably do that I'd probably add to this page is one, a comparison chart. They kind of have it here, but I'd probably add a comparison chart where it breaks down the different features of different softwares versus this one. Uh, I know they kind of have that here, but you could probably do that a little bit better. And then the second thing is they have no FAQ. They have that on Educate, right? You can see at the bottom of the page, they're answering these questions, but they don't have it here. So it's again, it's something that uh, can be losing conversions if people have questions that are not getting answered on this page, right? It's a great way to just push people past that final edge. So that's it for these three funnels. This is the bottom of the funnel. You can see how he's bringing people in the top through ads into these events, indoctrinating them, getting them inside to educate, and then bringing those educate students into Flozy where he can really increase his net worth. It's a beautiful funnel that's working obviously extraordinarily well considering he's worth over $80 million. Now, if you wanna know the four things you can do to increase your conversion rate by two to three X, if you're not already doing them, check out this video right here. I think you'll enjoy it. I'll see you there.